Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the third episode of Tonari no Kyukesuki-san. That's right, today has finally arrived the best day of the anime week, where tons of amazing anime just air on the same day. That's pretty common though, a lot of the, a lot of the weekends are usually loaded with just the best shows in any given anime season. It's just kind of shocking how much that happens. But anyway, this is one of my favorite anime of the season, so something to be excited about. Last episode, we had a new new girl Hinata, one of Akari's friends. She got some time to shine, some time to show off her character. She got to come over to Akari slash Sophie's, you know, newlywed home and was not told she was a vampire ahead of time. So that was a fun little shock for her when she got there. But, you know, she got over that pretty quickly. She became close friends with Sophie. They all got along, you know, well, and uh, yeah, pretty, pretty good times were had. So let's get into this episode and see how things go today. Three, two, one, play. Very nice, Takimakura. I definitely approve. Money well spent, clearly. <coughs> yes, it's just not a proper coffin without some, you know, high quality Takimakura. Oh, they don't. Oh, they don't fit. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, now what do we do? Choo choo choo, choo choo choo. I will take all the chews, just give them to me. We haven't had a lot we haven't had a lot of chews in the show itself yet, but you know, hopefully we do. We should be getting Sophie going to school soon. Yeah, I want to know what's up with the other vampire girl. That's also a big thing. I mean, because she's shown with Sophie a, a bit in the opening, like, just the two of them. That, that slide into Sophie just so good. Uh, yes, we can fit if we don't have any Zaki Makura in there, but... Uh, there's just a lot of kissing in this opening. I mean, it's not nothing compared to something like Sakura Trick, of course, but still quite a bit of kissing. And hand-holding, of course. Just one of the most yuri openings of the season. We're just saying something because we have a legit Yuri anime this season. But anyway, yeah, Vampire Goes to School. Who are you talking to on the phone, honey? Are you... I mean, she, she probably slipped outside of her coffin because it was filled. Uh. uh, okay. It was just a really tight fit. Okay, that, that does sound like he a cross between heaven and hell. Uh, okay. That sounds like fun. Let's do it. Yeah, Sophie's gotta come. I never had friends before, this sounds amazing. I'll get ready. <laughs> Just whatever you're comfortable with, you know, like nothing at all. I don't think that would be the best. Oh god. That's quite pretty. Are you sure you're not Shinobu? <laughs> That's a line. You don't have to do that. Yeah, just keep your parasol ready. So where does she live? Huh. Pretty standard house. I mean, she has to be, yeah, she has to be invited in, because <laughs> she's a vampire. And... yes, we made it through. This is a big deal, Akari, you, you, you don't get it. <laughs> uh, very big step for her, literally. Ooh, doggy! Is she not good with dogs? Nikon. I didn't know I was watching. Well, 
Walk Monko to Kurosa. It's gonna bite, isn't it? Uh. Well, you are a vampire. <laughs> She's no one suspicious. It's fine. Are you sure you want to leave the two of them alone together in your bedroom? Okay. Because uh, you probably wouldn't want to lay on that bed afterwards. Oof. And now she's all alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure they both have their ups and downs. Pros and cons. Ooh, potato chips. Well, that's not surprising. <laughs> if only she was willing to drink blood directly from people. <laughs> uh, come over to my house and eat my little brother. Well... What, what kind of brother wouldn't pay attention to his cute sister? <laughs> so don't be such a baby, Onechan. Just dual shock four there. What? <laughs> That's pretty nice of her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, uh, well, I mean, you can surely see why he got angry at that. <laughs> yeah, there probably is too. I mean, her family let her live with a vampire they never met before, so, you know. Hmm. The doll from Konohana Kitan. <laughs> well, they're just terrifying. <laughs> well, they're evil. No, you're, you're the weird one. <laughs> That's good to know. That's a good question. Does she have any vampire family around? <laughs> oh, oh no, is that other vampire girl like her sister or something? Is that how we got to transition into that? Uh, okay. Huh. <laughs> Uh, touchy subject. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I assume now we're talking about the other vampire girl. <laughs> A little bit. Four hundred and twenty first birthday. You wanna be a vampire too? I mean doesn't sound horrible to me. <laughs> okay, that I can get behind. Uh, you're assuming that would happen to begin with. <clears throat> I'm, I mean, it could be fun or it could be a nightmare, depending on the family in question. <laughs> That's surprising, because there's, there's a lot of light novels out there. <laughs> uh, no. Just 
Why not? And why not? Yes. <laughs> I bet it would. <laughs> uh, yes, please come over here and give your sister lots of affection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good question. I really cannot unhear Gabriel when she talks. I mean, you should be familiar with Little Sisters if you read light novels. <laughs> nice. You shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's just straight up Yuri anime. Mario Samagami Teru stuff right there. Well, I bet he's a dog. You know, unless you're Sophie. They're scarier when they bite. But I agree with that. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, saw that coming. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, it's a very friendly cat. I'll, I'll act friendly to you as well. <laughs> well, you have a family now. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm sure she did. Did you see her afterwards? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what matters. And he now does there too, I guess. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so much happiness in that room right now. <laughs> Oh. It's a nice pictures. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> nice little shot of the moon, too. And now I'm alone again. <laughs> You shouldn't sleep in the doorway. I know animals like to do it, like to sleep in the way. Well, yeah, I, I definitely get that. Well, not as cold as a popsicle. I was just gonna go. <laughs> How well can you cook, though? And then he finds out she ate his chips. <laughs> And that changes things. How nice of you. You did my chips for me. Yeah, that... Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to appreciate that. Uh... I do have some sympathy for that, brother. Oh. Neko, Neko. That, that looks amazing. Can I borrow that when you're done? Is she going to go to school because she's influenced by Slice of Life manga? Dodo Donuts? Uh, why, why do I relate to Sophie so much? I know, I'm basically an old person. That wrote that realization. Did that cover say cute on it? Well, now you have friends that go with. Well, don't sit in the protagonist seat and don't fly. These aren't hard rules to obey. I mean, other vampires in anime have went to school before.
Is she dreaming of Akari? That's that sounds about right. Well, maybe you should get more Dakimakuro. That should that should help. It looks so hot when you see her in that outfit. Are we gonna visit Akari? Because you're gonna draw a lot of attention to yourself. <laughs> I, pff, wow. I don't think an assassin would go to your school. I just brought a lunch or something. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that makes everything okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. That's very nice of you, Sophie. <laughs> well, that's good. Let's uh, let's be careful. <laughs> yeah. Does the vampire's hair grow? Probably not. Yeah, they're so unimportant. I don't think they're in the ED. Yes, that's exactly what it means. <laughs> yeah, like that. Let's not do that. <laughs> yes, she is. That's why Akari likes her. <laughs> you can't have her. She's Akari's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, like hundreds of years old. You know, roughly. Give or take a few years. <laughs> wow, yeah. I thought that was a bit lower than I remember. It would. You're not like you have anywhere better to be. People will start giving me candy. I mean, you probably sit in the locker. Dark in there. Oh. Oh. I, yes, that sounds like a great idea. Why would you pass up that opportunity? Who are you? There we go. Just wear a wig. Yeah, I'm sure the robe would help. Just gave her a uniform, that's great. It looks pretty good in it. You know, the girl with the twin tails there, she kind of reminds me of one of the characters from... Uh, Gochi Yusa. Cho- what? Chobedi Goo? I guess. I saw that one word that vignette from Gabriel Dropout said when she was trying to be a bad girl. Is it the same word? Probably not, but... <laughs> I, I'm the student, you know? <laughs> uh, now I'm getting work in flashbacks. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> yeah, let's just roll with it. <laughs> Hopefully this goes well. Yeah, normally you would be sleeping. Just do your best. Yes, <laughs> her reputation's on your shoulders. <laughs> uh, wow. 
That's... Oh my god. That's funny. I don't think I've ever seen a teacher praise a student for staying awake in class before. Don't be scared, Sophie. You're a vampire. And possibly he not as well. Yes, it's, you know, Gatmo or something. <laughs> uh. Everything, basically. <laughs> I know, right? Alright, so you can doodle in it? I mean, a lot of the history is probably stuff you, yeah, that you actually remember. No. I think a special occasion. Wow, you... She didn't even look. Wait, is that... I'm getting tired of saying this, but is that the vampire girl? I mean, she's had hundreds of years to perfect it. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, of course. I had to sneeze. <coughs> and I failed. Okay. Okay, that's good. So, hair grows back, but boobs don't get any bigger. Gotcha. Live novels? Anything good? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Station Poi, indeed. Don't... Don't just end on me. I could have swore that said the vampire... other vampire girl would show up this episode. Oh, well. Yeah, her. I could have swore she was supposed to show up this episode. It might have been her in that M Marie Antoinette whatever flashback, but... Man, just... I just... Why can't I be a part of that? Why was I not born as a cute anime girl? That just, that's just a question I ask myself quite often. Life just isn't fair. Okay, f next episode, I guess we'll get her. And Ari, I guess was her name. <laughs> Man, just... This is just a nice cast of characters. <laughs> and I haven't heard her say anything yet, but I feel like I'm gonna like Ari, just from seeing her in the ED. And she's very clingy with Sophie, <laughs> from what I can see. Well, school is quite a bit different when you have friends, you know. Exactly. You're with Akari. That makes a difference. <laughs> uh, wow, Akari. Oh, and then it just kind of ends. Okay. That was the third episode of Tonari no kyuketsuki san And this episode... Uh, our first conflict was the fact that we had more Dakimakura than we had space in the coffin, which I'm sure that's a problem many of us face. Just It's unfortunate, but you do kind of have to ch choose your favorites or cycle through them. One of the two. but uh, Or just buy a bigger coffin, I guess, if, if, that's, uh, if that's in the cards. 
But anyway, the, one of the bigger things of the episode was we went to Hinata's house because she was feeling lonely. So, you know, Bakari and Sophie come over to play. And they have a lot of good time. A lot, a lot of fun there. You had Hinata talk about her, her brother, how he's technically there, just willing to offer him up as a blood sacrifice to Sophie, which is fine. Uh, and how that she's lonely despite of him being there because he doesn't really want to spend time with her. He just wants to play video games, which is crazy as that is. Uh, but, you know, once you see how she kind of rubs in the wrong way by eating his popsicle and then acting as if she's doing him a favor as she does it and eating his chips and asking, acting as if she's doing him a favor by doing that. I got it a little bit more after that. I was like, OK, I can kind of see there being a bit of a a bit of conflict there. But, uh, yeah, that's that's a thing. I can't really be mad at Hinata for that because tell me she was cute as she did it. But I can see why he would get mad. But. Uh, anyway, yeah, a lot of fun was had. We talked about family, how Sophie doesn't really have a family anymore, and Dakari feeling kind of bad for bringing that up. You, she became black and white, just her little area was black and white. Talked about the three of them being sisters, looking at some pictures together, eating snacks, eating the brother's snacks, I should say. Uh, Sophie enjoying playing on a human girl's bed, but which, you know, I, I can understand that. Let's see, uh, what else... I talk about another family that became vampires and then just complain about all the little aspects of it, like how they're stuck at their current form. And uh, we also talked about how Sophie would, Sophie would like prefers cats, and then you had a Kari dressing up as a cat with a very nice back camera angle on her that was pretty high quality. But yeah, a lot of great fun was had, but then when they left, you know, have to realize how lonely it is when people were there and you were having a great time, but then they left. You just then you're even lonelier than you were to begin with, which is pretty sad. Pretty, pretty sad. Now, next half was focused on Sophie going to Hikari's school because she forgot her lunch and she had to go give it to her. And it's during the day, so that led to some complications, like trying not to die from the sunlight. But she lost some hair, but no big deal because it does grow back as we established later in the episode. She got there. A lot of people were staring at her. They're wondering, what, what is this girl doing here? What, what does she want? Is she an assassin? Oh my god, there's an assassin here. Who's she gonna kill? But then when they when they realized she was, you know, Akari's friend, everybody just kind of let her go. Like, oh, oh, she's Akari's friend. Okay, so about that, you know, drama we watched last night. You know, just everyone just went back to their usual conversation. Because the, everyone just acknowledges that Akari is a weirdo, I guess, is the, the real takeaway from that. But since she was already there, you know, we decided to just kind of hang out instead of her leaving because, you know, might as well wait until dark, nothing better to do. It was much, much safer to travel at night. That's what we decided to do, but we didn't know what she would do, where she would go. So Akari had the great idea of Sophie just sitting on her lap in class, and I really wish that would have happened. Like, I'm a little bit salty that didn't happen because the idea was put in my head. I wanted it to happen, but oh well, oh well. What did happen, though, was a girl, Yamada, I remember Yamada's name, but none of the other, you know, friends of Akari, just this random girl that's probably not even important, but Yamada wanted, had to go to check on her sister or something, and she wanted Sophie to stay, you know, in her seat in class for her, so she wouldn't be like, you know, you know, marked absent or whatever, so she did that. Now, the problem was that she didn't look like a student, didn't look like Yamada, but we saw that problem by just giving her the uniform. Of course, she still had the cloak on, so I don't know how much that really helped, but uh, it, it worked in the end. She accepted that she was Yamada. She's like, oh, something doesn't seem right here, but no, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, Yamada, you're totally here, so uh, yeah, let's continue with class. And Sophie struggled to stay awake because she's nocturnal and it's daytime. However, it was revealed that she, she would have been fine sleeping because it's just a thing that Yamada does. And then the teacher praised her for staying awake in class. That was That was pretty funny, really. Oh, and yeah, they, Sophie, Sophie using ancient words as well. Talking about, uh, they had a little bit of study study session, talking about history, how she lived through a lot of history, like, you know, the Marie, Marie Antoinette thing, the beheading, and that she didn't even really look at it because, you know, of course she didn't. And good stuff like that. <coughs> but yeah, that was pretty much the end of the episode. We had a lot of fun hanging out with Hinata, and we had some fun exploring school because a car, Sophie was not a big fan of school, but once she we went there with her waifu, yeah, Akari, she realized how much fun it could be, and she had a lot of fun, and she'll probably be going back a lot more in the future, I would imagine. But yeah, very, very good episode. I continue to enjoy this show a lot, and I look forward to next week. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.